Leo, this will be a collective reading for you. I hope you're all doing amazing. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have birth chart placements in Leo or you are dealing with someone that does have birth chart placements in Leo, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings if you're interested. Click the join button below. You can also find information um, about joining in the description box. You can also um, find information about private readings in the description box. I am running a special for the month of January. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right, so... What is going on? Okay. So we have the three of pentacles in reverse. We have the devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. We have the six of swords. Something's not working here anymore. Something's not working anymore. Some, something's toxic. Somebody's moving, ready to move away from something, transition out of something. Yeah, definitely. Five of pentacles, leave something behind, abandon something, not getting what they want out of the situation, not getting what they deserve out of a situation, feeling like their needs are unmet, um, feeling like there's a lack in a situation, like a situation is lacking something. Tell me about the three of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is already giving me third party energy, guys. I'm just letting you know. Somebody is, I feel like, about to leave a third party because they feel like they're not, their needs are not being met there or they feel like it's toxic. It's, it's, there's no... There's disharmony there. There's no, there's conflict there. Like they can't work on something with somebody. Okay. Tell me more about the devil in reverse. The high priestess in reverse. Huh? They maybe at some point couldn't see this. They couldn't see that. Let's see. What's the six words? The Queen of Cups, Pisces. It's like somebody's moving, could be moving away from or moving on from a a, a a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio. Definitely could be a Pisces. Be good this the high priestess in reverse. Say about the five of pentacles, the full in reverse. So somebody may feel like they for some of you, it's like somebody wants to have a new begin. Like they could have made the decision to move away from somebody let somebody go they could be even be doing this out of self-love but they but they i feel like they don't feel ready to start something new or reunite with you because they feel like they are going through some type of hardship they could be going through financial issues they maybe feel like they don't have enough to offer you or to give to you or they maybe feel like they don't have anything they can't pour from an empty cup type energy so or maybe somebody feels like they made a bad decision that landed them in a in a in, in lack and, you know, they chose, le I don't know, they they made me feel like they made, they chose like the, the not as great, like the, 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 the not, not the, they didn't make the best choice. I don't know how else to put it. Okay. So tell me, <laughs> um, what this means for my Leos. Where do, why does this mean for you guys? So we have the three of swords in reverse, a lot of threes here, guys. And we have the wheel of fortune. So things are changing for you. I think you guys are healing. You're recovering. I do see an energy here of self-love. Like you guys are just healing and recovering from something, forgiving, um, yourself, maybe forgiving, you know, somebody that hurts you, dealing with some repressed, em some emotions that you were maybe avoiding, facing, or something like that. But something is changing for the better with the Wheel of Fortune upright, Sag and Pisces energy. Yeah. What about the page? I don't know if that was supposed to come out reversed or what, because it felt like behind me. Yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse. What about that? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What's to do with Leo? The Ace of Cups. You guys may have new love coming in here. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. I'm telling you. Somebody feels like they chose the wrong person. What's this have to do with you though? This don't have anything to do with you. Somebody, I'm telling you. Somebody feels like they, they chose the wrong person. They didn't have good judgment when they made a decision. Mm -mm. they had a lack of clarity they didn't they didn't think things through well like 
Somebody feels like they, they didn't make, they, they chose, they didn't pick the best choice. That's all I can say. Why is the Ace of Cups here though? The Hermit. Okay, hold on. The Hermit and Virgo Energy and the World Reverse. So there is going to be like, kind of like, and something's not over between you and this person. You and this person may not be speaking right now, but it's not over. The cycle has not ended. There will be like an opportunity for a new beginning here. Somebody could be watching you. Page of Swords, looking you up on social media. Five of Cups in reverse. Somebody is watching you move on from them. <laughs> And somebody's very like, uh, or maybe they're in the process of like, they could be watching you, but they're, it's like they're keeping tabs on you while they're finally moving on or healing from something from their childhood or from their past that was causing them to be cold, selfish, uh, emotionally unstable, emotionally manipulative, emotionally unavailable. Yeah. It's almost like, mm, part of them feels like this is a missed opportunity. Tell me more. I need to know what this means for you guys because I don't really care about. So the Tower in reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They, somebody didn't put a lot of work or effort into something because they were afraid of, they were trying to prevent a Tower moment from happening or they were trying to prevent, why, like Scorpio energy with the Tower, but... The Five of Swords. What does this have to do with you, though? The King of Wands in reverse. This person was playing games. They were being selfish. Yeah, they were being selfish. They didn't put a lot of work and effort into this. But I feel like this person... Yeah, you guys could have released them. What is the Ten of Wands in reverse? The Two of Wands. Or maybe... What's to do with my collective? They didn't do right by you because they were one foot in, one foot out the door in a situation. Or they couldn't decide if they were ready to, to let something go. Yeah, they were trying to decide if they were ready to, 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 to once and for all let something go, move on from something. And I think that they were in this indecisive energy. You know, not making a decision is a decision. And I feel like if for some of you, they did choose that other person over you. For others of you, they just didn't choose. They just kind of like catch you in limbo while they were in indecisiveness. And then you guys maybe made the decision that, you know, you made the decision for them. And you're like, no, you're not going to keep, you know, stringing me along, keep me in limbo. The, all I know is that they weren't fair to you. Okay, they weren't fair to you at all. Tell me about Justin Reverse, Libra Energy, the Three of Wands, the Page of Cups. Maybe you guys feel like this person owes you an apology. Yeah, you, you maybe some of you guys have been hoping that or waiting for this person to make things right with you, or you kind of feel like this person owes you an apology. I do feel they yeah. They rushed into something here. Or they what is the Knight of Swords? They're not happy. They're feeling very unfulfilled. They're wherever they're at. There's a lot of conflict, arguing, arguing, instability. Yeah, but they don't want that anymore. What's that do with you? The two is, what are they, why are they so confused about you? They're so indecisive about you. It's like they're really moody. Like there's a decision that they need to make and they're like pro procrastinating making this decision. And while they're procrastinating, they're just kind of watching you get away from them because they can't get out of their own head. They have this low self-esteem, low confidence. They they don't feel good enough for you. I told you that that five of pentacles and that fool in reverse, they just, they don't feel like they have enough or they don't feel like they have anything to give you. And they just feel like they just will never be. It's like all these, this, these feelings of an, an inadequacy, this low self-esteem that this person has, that's keeping them in a situation where they are miserable. Okay. But they, but they don't feel ready to take a leap of faith on this with you. So what? So what now? So they're going to continue to be unhappy. Ten of, ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're going to continue to feel unhappy and be in this broken or struggling relationship, this unhappy home, this conflict, this chaos. That's what they're choosing for themselves right now. Yeah, so you you can't make this... Per, I mean, you can kind of make this... You can boost, boost their ego temporarily, right, guys? But you can't fix their self-esteem issues. <laughs> <laughs> they had to fix that so spirit is saying that you need to continue to like have boundaries and stand your ground with this person because and like maybe just continue to stay away from them because yeah know your worth mm -hmm. 
don't let this person have their cake and eat it too. Because that's just only, that's not, that's not going to benefit you in any way. And this is only good. It's only enabling this person to stay in this, this energy. It's almost like you got to leave them to the misery, to this misery that they keep choosing. Cause that's it. That is, that's what they're choosing is to be miserable. Okay. So I, I just heard you're an escape for this person. So there's something about like, they like to like escape, you know, they, they view you as their like, kind of like their, their, their getaway, their escape, their peace, whatever. But it's like, mm -mm. don't let them make you their sometime person because they're too afraid to completely. So what are, what, but they're not getting any, what, okay, let's see. What benefit are they getting from the other situation that they won't walk away from all the way? What are they getting from there? It, there is no benefit. It's just the fact that this person feels like they they have a fear of change. They're afraid of what will happen if they walk away from that situation. They're afraid of, they, they feel like they don't really know what the outcome is going to be between the two of you if they choose to walk 11-11 on the camera. Six of Pentacles in reverse. See, there's nothing there. There's no like reciprocity. The, the, who, if it's a romantic relationship, that person likes them, but they don't like them. Or yeah, strings attached. That person is either giving something to them. It's like a very, they, they could be even using somebody with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they could be using somebody. It's a very one-sided connection. I do feel like they're only with that person for what that person could do for them. Um, they're abusing someone's generosity there. Tell me more, Lord. Yeah, maybe for a place to live, a place to stay. They do feel like it's stable there or something like that. Or for some of you, it's their family. Tell me about the Four of Wands. The two of swords are reversed. Making a move and doing what? I just feel like this situation is at a stalemate. Yeah. The magician in reverse. Be careful of this person reaching out to you and them trying to, you know, deceive you. Or what is the Wheel of Fortune? The Hermit. See, there. what's changing here? The star. There is something's looking up here. What does that mean for this person? No. Six of Cups. And the, so they're letting go of the past or they're healing from the past or something like that. Or they're gaining some type of new perspective about the past. They're maybe seeing, feeling like something is, something was, they were either manipulated or something was an illusion. The, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Four of Swords. I think this person knows exactly, if you guys cut them off, they know exactly why you cut them off. They know exactly why you stopped talking to them, why you took back your energy Mm-hmm. Hmm. Do I want to use this deck? I don't know. We can do this one first. All right. Just give me some more, a little bit more information. See, yeah, mixed signals. They weren't sure about you. Or they haven't been sure about you. That cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you they're not totally sure if they're into you or not. It's almost, it's almost like this person is trying to make sure that they really do like you. They really do want to be with you before they choose to leave another situation that they're codependent on or dependent on serendipity. Yeah, didn't I say this person's just kind of like the situation that a stalemate instead of like they're not fighting for it. They're kind of just letting you slip away from them or something like that. They sent you mixed signals. Yeah, it's, I, that's that indecisive energy. They're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene to bring the two of you together. But they have a lot of emotions for you, though. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. Okay, so losing battle. I told you, you guys gave up or something like that. You are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. Yeah. 
We have coming apart. See, when you guys started standing your ground and really knowing your worth and walked away out of self-love, and you stop letting this person have their cake and eat it too. Okay, if they, they don't know if they're sure about you or not. Okay, well then maybe holler at me when, you know, you do know. You know, like, no, you're not going to keep playing these games with me and sending me mixed signals and putting me all up in my head and causing me anxiety and stress and sleepless nights because I don't I don't ever know where we stand and who, who you're going to be because you're so fickle and wishy-washy and unstable. No, it, it was in your best interest that you had to disconnect from this. But I feel like when you did... Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever. Feeling lost as they lose their old identity. Yeah, battle of the wits. Until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. I mean, you guys could also maybe struggle with emotional availability, but I feel like it was more so this person. And if both of you guys are, if not, if both you guys aren't emotionally available, it's going to be issues, you know? Divine intervention. Yeah, I feel like the, I'm, I'm telling you this battle of the wits energy is giving me like a stalemate. The situation has been at a stalemate, but the divine inter is intervening or they did intervene. That tar moment that this person was trying to prevent or trying to avoid, it happened anyways. They're experiencing many tar moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. Yeah, old wounds. Something, yeah, their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long lasting relationships missing you they their life feels empty without you so one of the tower moments for this person was needing to feel your absence yeah they miss you more than words can say but they think it's too late to fix things potential they're deep in their thoughts about you realizing their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential in you yeah they're leaving something breaking free they are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you and they're not they don't want you to give up on this they don't want you to give up now because when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end yeah, ancestral karma. They are clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through the generations. Don't rush the journey. Music could be significant to your connection. Yeah, they definitely resisted this because they put you on a pedestal and they didn't feel good enough for you. Yeah, and they were emotionally unavailable. And this person is usually used to, like, maybe... This person didn't know if, like, they loved you or they lusted for you or something like that. I don't know, but they do feel you pulling away from them. Yeah, they feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince you they're worth keeping. Give me a few more, Spirit. What's happening going? What like what do they need to know about the current energy and going forward? So part of the so one of the, at least one of the tower moments for this person was they need was losing you, like not having you anymore, feeling the absence of you in their life, feeling like this void, missing you. I think they also had a car, uh, um, a tower moment with a karmic. Because I just saw the karmic partner's card on the back of the deck. So, And I think I just saw the insecurities card too. Yeah, I was to say, yeah. Unsure of who, who and where they are at in life. Where is a mask to hide their feelings and fear of rejection? Constantly covers up who they are and fear of what others may think of them. Hmm. You definitely trigger this person's insecurities. We have Capricorn here. We have difficult differences. So, yeah. I feel like one of it, because it says differences of, of opinions, ideas, and love, differences in status, money, power, or culture. One awakened while the other is awakened. And I feel like it was all those things in this situation. You know, it was a lot of, a lot of different things. But we have Libra here. Uh, see, yeah, with that page of swords. Open-minded to the connection, researching and understanding this deep and cosmic connection. Willingness to be open and understanding of the connection. So how are we getting to, maybe they're acquiring knowledge or they're in the process of learning lessons right now that is going to leave them in that energy. And what, how, yeah, they're learning something here. I never understood what people meant when, they, maybe that's what is making, but what is this? I don't like that the five of pentacles, maybe they're still trying to work on themselves. Maybe they're like, they, they finally have left something behind, but they still just need to work on themselves or something like that. I never understood what people meant when they used the term power couple. However, since meeting you, I realized how much positive change we can create together. Forgiveness. Yeah, wanting your, I'm seeking your forgiveness, even if I can't utter the words. I'm trying to also forgive myself for treating you unfairly, but I'm hoping I can quiet my guilt. Yeah, this person knows that they didn't treat you fairly. So what is this five of pentacles in this? Okay. 
We have, I'm ready to surrender myself to our connection. I will no longer run away from it and I will no longer deny it. I am trusting in the universe and our love for one another. So maybe they finally are making that decision to surrender to the connection and leave something behind. I do feel like they have been holding back for a really long time. But it looks like they maybe are making that decision. I said a lot of things I should not have said. I said them out of anger and fear. Sometimes I say things without even thinking. I'm sorry for hurting you with my words. Sagittarius energy. Give me one more card on the Five of Pentacles and the Fool in Reverse. What's the Five of Pentacles and the Fool in Reverse? Hold on. Five of, okay. Well, that's a whole chunk of cards. Five of Pentacles and the, okay. I just saw Soft Love. So somebody maybe still feels like, see, what is juggling here for? Maybe they feel like right now they have other things they need to focus on right now. They're still trying to process how they feel about you. Yeah, we have in separation. I'm having a hard time processing what happened between us and juggling my own personal responsibilities. I need time and space to deal with everything. So I told you, somebody know, somebody has maybe walked away from somebody or they're in the process of walking away from somebody. They know that that situation doesn't work, right? They know that that's not where they're supposed to be. But they're in this five of pentacles energy where they kind of just don't feel like they have anything to really give you right now because there's a bunch of other things that they need to sort out first. There's a lot of other personal responsibilities that they feel that they need to deal with before, you know, they... They need, they need the time and the space to deal with that before they want to have this new beginning with you. So this is why you guys are currently in separation. It says, I'm taking a pause. I needed to separate myself from you in order to work on my mind and soul. Yeah, for some of you, they're like, they need to get their head together. They need to get clear. They need to get like, they're not well, you know? This is only temporary and I will eventually find my way back to you. So yeah, yep. There's energy here of new beginnings, magical and powerful, new beginnings and alignment taking action towards destiny, creator, creator of our own reality through powers of manifest manifesting. So, yep, I feel you through and through everything, the, the things I touch, the images I see, the voices I hear, we are connected throughout the universe, even if we are miles apart. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they're either, they've already left a, a false flame or they're in the process of leaving a false flame. And you guys are, they're sorting, they're, they're in the process of sorting a lot of things out right now. And I feel like they're not speaking. I do feel like eventually they are going to come towards you and speak up. But it's almost like, I don't know if you you guys told this person, not don't come unless you're coming correct. But it's kind of that type of energy. Like, they don't want to come towards you empty handed or they don't want to come towards you on the same shit, you know, the same way that they did before. Because obviously that didn't work out, right? So maybe they're trying to be a little bit more logical. This person maybe feels like they don't think things through, but yeah, just see courage. It says, I don't care what it takes, how long it takes, who I upset. I'm going to return to you one way or another. So they are, they have, they know what they, they have their sights set on returning to you, returning to you better, not caring what other people think anymore. If that was an issue. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a deeper look to see more of like what's currently going on with them right now. Um, and what you guys can expect to happen going forward and get you some guidance. The link will be in the description box, or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, private reading information can be found in the description box as well. I am running a special this month and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.